Raceview Network's Weekend Preview is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by Remington Park Racing Casino. Hello and welcome to Raceview Network's Weekend Preview. I'm Jim Byers. Today we'll look ahead to events at Remington Park and Delta Downs, which has the first race in our lineup, the Old South Derby. One standout in that field won last year's Old South Futurity and went on to two more stakes victories as a three-year-old. Jessa Rogue could be the horse to beat in Saturday's Delta Card Topper. Conditioned by Trey Ellis, the sophomore filly Jessa Rogue has won half of her eight career outings and has run out of the money only once. She's the daughter of He's a Fast Dash, bred in Louisiana. Jockey Alfonso Lujan has the call on Jessa Rogue. From trials run on May 2nd, the fastest qualifying time was turned in by Wild Tycoon, a Louisiana bred gelding by Tempting Dash. This is the first venture into stakes company for Wild Tycoon, a winner of five of 11 starts. He's trained by Martin Trejo. David Alvarez will be in the irons in the Old South Derby. On Friday night, two-year-olds compete in the Old South Futurity at Delta Downs. They'll run 330 yards for an $87,000 purse. Not Perry Pretty went into her time trial, a first-time starter, and emerged as the top qualifier. The Louisiana-bred daughter of Dash to Fame is trained by Lanny Keith. Raul Ramirez Jr. will pilot the filly, not Perry Pretty. In the Old South Futurity, it's Delta's feature race on Friday evening. Four stakes events, all for runners bred in the Sooner State, make up the Oklahoma Speed Fest. It occupies much of the Remington Park card on Sunday afternoon included as the $50,000 Jack Brooks stakes at 350 yards. Special's Jamie hopes to return to the winner's circle in the Jack Brooks. Her last stakes victory came in a speed test event one year ago, the FL Ladybug stakes. Paint Me Perry is coming off a second place finish in the Grade 3 Remington Park Oklahoma Red Derby on April 18th. The Colt by PYC Paint Your Wagon won the Grade 2 Oklahoma Futurity in 2014. Jockey Paul Nieto has the call from trainer Francisco Gonzalez in the Jack Brook Stakes. Older fillies and mares will go 350 yards in the Grade 3 Easy Date Stakes on Sunday at the Oklahoma City Oval. Hailing from the Clint Crawford Training Stable is the multiple graded stakes winning This Candy's Awesome, who won the Grade 3 Remington Derby in 2014. The four-year-old's last outing was the Grade 3 Daquetta Stakes on March 28th, when she prevailed over a talented field that included Nellie Delaney and Cool Wave. A daughter of PYC Paint Your Wagon, this candy's awesome heads up a field of seven in the $70,000 Easy Date Stakes, Sunday afternoon at Remington Park. Up next, we look at the top two qualifiers for the $1 million Heritage Place Futurity. Remington Park's American Quarter Horse season continues through May 30th. First post time, Thursday through Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 1.30. World-class quarter horse racing at Remington Park Racing Casino in Oklahoma City. The field is set for the Grade 1 one $1 million Heritage Place Futurity to be run Saturday, May 30th at Remington Park. The fastest qualifiers from two days of time trials are the winners of the other two graded Futurities during the current meeting at RP. T. Chick won the Grade 2 Oklahoma Futurity on March 21st. Trained by Rick Robinson, Corona breeder Francisco Garza, the Texas bred is 3 for 3 with $178,000 in earnings. Regular rider Francisco Calderon should be aboard T. Chick in the Heritage Place Futurity. Regard with respect was victorious in the Grade 2 Remington Park Oklahoma bred Futurity on April 18th. Bred by his owner Nancy Powell, the Guillermo Valdivia trainee has run out $348,000 while winning all three career outings. Larry Payne has ridden regard with respect in his last two starts. Look for him to be in the saddle for the Heritage Place Futurity. The $1 million event headlines the card on closing day of Remington Park's 2015 quarter horse meeting. An official representative for horsemen in the state, the OQHRA administers race, benevolence, and scholarship programs, all to better the state of racing in the state of Oklahoma. Visit OQHRA.com. Raceview Network's Weekend Preview is sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association and by Remington Park Racing Casino. 
Time to wrap up this edition of the preview. Remember to check out Raceview Network on any of our social media sites. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. For all involved with the show, I'm Jim Byers. Thanks for joining us for the weekend preview. See you next time on Raceview Network.